Hey guys, my name is Dan. I'm a veterinarian and urinary incontinence in the dog. Oh my gosh, your doggy is leaking urine. Maybe it's laying there on your bed and it leaks urine every night. Maybe your doggy's laying in their bed and it's leaking urine. Maybe your dog has chronic bladder infections. Or maybe your doggy's just walking around the house leaking urine as she goes. Urinary incontinence, guys, is more common in the female dog. Today we're covering medicine. So medicine, guys, there are two medicines that are commonly prescribed for doggies that have urinary incontinence, old and young. What the veterinarian will do is they will run a urine first to make sure that there's no bacteria or crystals or anything funny about your dog's urine. And some blood work is always a good idea. After they say, your dog's healthy, it's just incontinent, and you're like, no duh, it's incontinent, but they have to make sure, guys, that nothing else is going on. Once they say nothing else is going on, they will prescribe either a medication that has an estrogen derivative or an estrogen medicine, a hormone medicine, which is going to slide in there and support the doggy after they've been spayed. So if your dog was spayed and they don't have the hormones anymore, your veterinarian gives a hormone-based tablet, you give it daily, and all of a sudden, magically, with those hormones, the doggy stops peeing in their bed and on your bed and all over your house. The other thing, uh, the other med that can be prescribed is a medication that is called PPA and it goes under a handful of different labels now and this medication is going to tighten up the urinary sphincter. It's just, when you get the medicine, when we were, we were leaking out the U, the urethra were just leaking, 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 this medicine will tighten it up so we're not going to leak anymore. Both these medications are great and talk to your veterinarian about any adverse effects of these medicines because any medicine, guys, can have side effects. Medicines are needed, especially for urinary incontinence. But side effects can happen with any medicine. With that being said, guys, you do want to control the urinary incontinence in a doggy. If they are leaking on a daily basis, that makes them more prone to bladder infections or UTIs. So getting the incontinence controlled is really important. The incontinence, guys... When your veterinarian gives you your meds, they're going to say, let me know how it goes. This is really important. You need to be very diligent and be looking and figuring out if your dog is incontinent anymore. Because there's no magical instrument or diagnostic tool to say, your dog's incontinent still. Literally, guys, you're the ones that go home and say, the bed's dry. Thank you, Dr. Dan, for fixing my dog. If you call me in like a week and say, Dan, we're still leaking. I'm going to change your med. I'm going to change your dose. I'm going to figure out why we're still incontinent. Don't just sit on it, guys. Always, always let your veterinarian know if you're not happy with how something's going. As always, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I hope this video about urinary incontinence in the dog was crazy helpful. And thanks for joining me outside today. You guys take care. Have a great day. Bye.